Thank you to all of you for coming to Dignity Health Sports Park this afternoon for the LA Galaxy's presentation of General Manager Dennis DeClosa and new head coach Guillermo Barros Coloto. Uh, we're going to kick things off with uh, LA Galaxy President Chris Klon. Chris? Thanks, Brendan. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, before we get started, um, I know that all of you know, but uh, we lost someone that was very important to us, uh, important to our club, and important to the sport of soccer in this country, Ziggy Schmid. Um, it is uh, with a heavy heart that uh, all of us learned the news, and over the next few days, it was, uh, it was interesting to read all the things that were said about Ziggy. Uh, we all have our own stories about him, whether we knew him for a very short time or whether we played for him. Uh, we wouldn't be here today with the sport where it is in this country today without someone like Ziggy. Uh, he was a pioneer. Uh, he was someone that blazed the trail, not only in college soccer, but in professional soccer with some of our youth national teams. Uh, I certainly have a job, and uh, we're doing this because of, because of what he did. So. Uh, we're going to miss him dearly. Uh, the sport of soccer is going to miss him, uh, and the people that knew him well certainly uh, miss him greatly. So uh, we intend to honor him in our own way, and I know that a lot of uh, other clubs, Major League Soccer and the, and the national team, plan to do so as well. So I did want to start with that. Uh, it's hard to transition, but um, this is also a day that is very exciting for our club. Uh, when we embarked on this mission, it was – important to me, it was important to our club that we came out of this with a soccer operation structure uh, in leadership that was very clear and identifiable both internally and externally. Uh, it became obvious to us that we needed to hire a leader for our soccer operations and allow that person to come in and conduct the coaching search. Uh, with that, we interviewed a number of people, and this was about someone that could make us uh, very good on the first team, but that could realize the full potential of the entire club. And from the first time I spoke to Dennis, uh, it was obvious that he was the right guy. And it is with great excitement uh, for me to introduce all of you to the new, new LA Galaxy general manager, Dennis DeClosa. Dennis, welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Chris. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, thank you very much, Chris, for, for this great opportunity for me, for my family. Also, I want to thank uh, Dan Beckerman, who's uh, not here on, on site today, but wanted to take the opportunity. And uh, I'm very, very excited. I've, I've always followed the MLS with great interest. I've worked in, in Mexico close by for the last 15 years almost. There's enormous potential and as, as uh, Chris said, the, the excitement about the first team and to build and to have the possibilities that uh, the Galaxy provides to build obviously a, a, a very good team with a great head coach, a great staff, but also going down to the second team and to the academy, which is something uh, I'm very excited about. And I, I feel that there is a great potential. And for sure, with the first step in putting in place the, the head coach, everything else will little by little follow. And we're very proud and I'm very excited to be able to work together and to support Guillermo on this new adventure. He's coming off, obviously, from a great club and a, and a very promising career as a, as a coach already and obviously a great player. So Guillermo also, on my behalf, welcome. I'm very, very excited. I'm, uh, I, can, I can't wait to, to the, the preseason starts at the end of the month and, uh, and will for sure will be, will be very good. Bien LA Galaxy head coach, Bienvenido. Guillermo. Bienvenido. <laughs> okay. uh, thank you very much. Uh, Chris and, and Dennis for giving me the confidence to bring me here. I am very happy and very excited about the future because we want to, to build a, the better future for Galaxy. So I am very happy and excited to, 
to start to train in, uh, within 20 days and to prepare the team. So thank you very much. I hope to help you uh, and then to work on better Galaxy in the future. We're going to go wanna, into... I want to make a, a, mention, a special mention to Sigi Smith too, because he brought me here when I spent time playing in, in Columbus Crew. Uh, I want to say thank you very much. Uh, he was very important for me when I came here, not just for soccer, soccer things. Uh, he helped me a lot of things and human things. So I want to say thank you very much, Sigi Smith. We're going to go ahead and do question and answer with uh, all three from the dais. We're going to do English questions first and then Spanish after, and then we'll allow for a scrum in both English and Spanish and one-on-ones to follow. So if we can get some questions in English. Kevin Baxter, LA Times. Oh, thank you. Guillermo, felicidades y bienvenido. Your teams have always been attacking teams, and when you look at the resources you have here with Zlatan and others, um, how excited are you to, to coach those guys? But a second question, this team never had trouble scoring goals last season. It was stopping goals. How do you intend to fix the defense? I, I like the, the offense soccer. Uh, we need to work in the field during the week for to, to get that. I think we are a good player. Player in offense, they are really good, like camera. Ibra, Alessandrini. So I think uh, we need to work and to get that. It's, it's, no, it's no easy, no simple, but we need to work. Adam? <clears throat> uh, this is for Dennis. Uh, Dennis, uh, as you look at Guillermo and you look at his resume, obviously, uh, very accomplished. What sort of made him the right fit? Obviously, you know, the team was connected to a lot of different uh, head coaches, as Chris mentioned. You know, what made him the right fit for you and for the system going forward? Well, I think Guillermo, um, first of all, uh, as, a, as a player, obviously, he's proven to be able to win um, with a very, very accomplished career. And, and, and as a as a coach, both in Lanús and in Boca, he came in in both teams in a situation where there is a lot of need for organization, a lot of need for structure, and a lot of need for for uh, quality decisions. And I think in the position that we're at, we can obviously take great advantage of his uh, his knowledge and the ability to get uh, teams and clubs organized in a way that uh, his style of playing and his his way of thinking about uh, soccer is something that fits us. And if you go a little bit beyond that, he's also proven not to be afraid to put young players on the field. I think he comes from a culture uh, similar as, as where I come from, where you play when you're good enough and not based on age or, or anything else. And I think with the knowledge of... Uh, of MLS being a, a very high-profile player here for several years, I think that gives something extra and that will make the adaption also a little bit more easy. Larry? Welcome, Coach. Uh, what, uh, what convinced you that the time was right for you to make the move to MLS? Uh, <clears throat> You know, I, I know about MLS. I play for here in in Columbus, so I know what I'm talking about when we're talking about the soccer in the United States. I think uh, the league is growing. I think the the players are getting better and better, and I think for me it's a big challenge to to coach in here. So I like the the country. I like the the league. So for me it's was very easy when I I get the uh, the possibility to come here. Scott. Uh, Guillermo, what is it that you that attract you most to Los Angeles, and what is it about the Galaxy that makes this perhaps a more special job? 
I think the Galaxy is uh, the most important club in the MLS with a big history. So I think uh, this is uh, the point in LA for me, Galaxy. Damien? Question for Dennis. Um, Dennis, what are the other uh, challenges that are facing you um, building out the roster as we get closer to uh, the opening of camp? Well, I think that the first the, and, the, and the most important and the biggest piece is, is the coach. I think uh, the coach, uh, within all decisions that we take as a club, um, has the highest saying about uh, where he wants to take the team, how he envisions, obviously, the building of the roster. I think with his knowledge of and, and his actual experience in MLS, my... Uh, my knowledge and my ability to obviously uh, reach out to, to different players and, and see where we can improve. I think it's going to be a big challenge. There is uh, obviously within MLS rules and regulations that we have where it, it, we need to be creative, but we will be creative and we will be able to balance out a few um, points that we, that we notice that need improvement. And uh, eager to start working. Obviously, we travel tomorrow to the Combine, which is an important event. Uh, we travel to the draft, and then with preseason starting and the team coming in, I think uh, a lot of things will get going. But it was obviously uh, a little bit of time that we needed to to have the, the perfect candidate for, for this important position, which is Guillermo. And uh, as from there, everything else will flow by uh, more naturally. Right here. Uh, Dennis, um, how much will Guillermo have uh, like with the, with the academy? Is that something you're taking on? Are you and Guillermo, or is it just you for the academy? Well, Guillermo is the head coach of the, of the first team. But being the head coach of the first team, he's a big example to the rest of the staff uh, and, and within the academy and, and all players. And I think, and I already noticed that Certain young players are very excited that he's here. Uh, gives, I think, an extra possibility for young players to to be able to learn, to be closer to the first team. In the end, it is about quality, and it is about being able to fight for a spot on the first team. Uh, but I think it's for us very, very, in, and personally for me, very important for somebody who's open to obviously looking at other aspects of the club, while the priority is obviously the first team and, and be be good there. Adam? Uh, for you, Chris, uh, you know, your uh, role maybe has changed with Dennis coming in. You know, how, how do you feel about having these two kind of lead the way now as the, the team kind of looks, looks ahead after, you know, two lean years? Yeah, I... I don't know that it's a change. It's a, I think it's more clearly defined now. Uh, in going out and trying to identify uh, the best possible people uh, in their respective position. Uh, we had an understanding and conversations of what the structure needed to look like, of what it used to be and where we needed to go in the future. And from there, it's trying to find people that have a similar mindset into what the galaxy is and where we are now and where we need to go. Uh, and having that similar viewpoint from Dennis and then having that extended to Guillermo uh, makes me excited about who we are and what we can be. We'll go ahead and take a few questions in Spanish for Guillermo and Dennis. John? Um, John Del Reda with Oi Deportes. Uh, bienvenido. Profe, ¿y cuál será su reto más grande en esta temporada con el Galaxy? ¿Y de qué manera ve la contribución de los hermanos Dos Santos en, en el futuro inmediato? Bueno, creo que no dependemos solamente de, de dos o tres jugadores eh, para construir lo que nosotros queremos que que el Galaxy tenga un estilo de juego y que gane, que son las dos cosas que importan en el fútbol. Eh, pensamos en la colaboración de todos los futbolistas, más allá de los nombres, más allá de la importancia, y veremos en la participación después durante el año de cada uno, pero lo más importante es conseguir nuestra forma de jugar, ser ofensivo, ser atractivo, 
y ganar. Go ahead. René. Bueno, ante todo, bienvenido, Denis, Guille, ¿cómo estás? Gracias. Eh, una, una pregunta de dos partes. Vos sos un hombre conocedor de la liga, de la MLS. Aparte del combine y aparte del draft, ¿tienen ustedes dos, porque obviamente va a dirigir a ustedes dos, otros planes o otra mini gira, digamos, por Centro o Suramérica para intentar reforzar esa línea de ataque después de todos los jugadores que quedaron libres? Y segundo, ¿es campeonato o nada para el Galaxy esta temporada, Guille? Bueno, nosotros tenemos tiempo hasta, hasta que inicie el torneo de, de ver qué cambios eh, podemos dar en los nombres de los jugadores o no. Lo, lo vamos a ir determinando a medida que vayamos entrenando y vayamos viendo eh, qué nivel logramos tener. Con respecto a, a ganar o nada, entiendo que el Galaxy tiene una historia muy grande, como lo decía anteriormente, y es un club de lo más importante en la liga, pero lo que primero tenemos que construir para pensar en ganar es un equipo. Y, y después de eso veremos a través del tiempo para qué estamos. Uh, uh, Mellizo, ¿cómo estás? Uh, dime, ¿qué fue lo que te sedujo de la propuesta del Galaxy? Y segunda, ¿ya, ya has estado en contacto con Slatan? No, no he estado en contacto con ningún jugador. Y la, lo que me sedujo fue el crecimiento de la liga, la importancia del equipo dentro de la liga eh, y la búsqueda tanto de Chris como de Dennis de, de encontrar un estilo de ser ambicioso, de ser atractivo, de ser ofensivo y de ser ganador. Entonces había un montón de cosas que, que coincido en lo que quiero yo de mi equipo y la verdad que me sedujo todo eso. Go ahead, last question. Buenas tardes para todos, para Chris, para Brandon, para Denis, que ya lo conocemos, y para Guillermo. Eh, Guillermo, eh, se ha dicho, se dice, se menciona de que pudieran venir algunos jugadores que tú conoces en Boca, se habla de la Pache Tevez, ¿qué de cierto es? No, no hay nada que, que, que hablar, la verdad que no sé de dónde pueden surgir las posibilidades de los jugadores que vengan o de que, que se vayan, pero no, no hemos hablado nada con Denis todavía, así que este, son especulaciones solamente periodísticas. Thank you. We're going to now pose for photos. We'll, you'll be able to get them in the scrum. <clears throat> so we're going to take this down. Sí.